At Glendale Academy, I really feel that we have the blueprint for brilliance. When we can back our teaching and learning practices with multiple intelligence and brain compatible learning, we know that we're teaching children the way they learn. It's teaching with the brain in mind. was born from an idea of making a school which was enjoyable for children as well as for the teachers. When you have a look at the children in our school, you will find that there comes from within a kind of very happy glow which indicates that they are happy with what they are doing in school. In the classroom, small group work, teamwork, and cooperative learning all help because when we engage the social brain, what happens is we're shifting the students from being passive listeners to active learners. And when they are in a cooperative group setting, they stimulate each other's mind and help each other scaffold that whole process of learning. At Glendale, we believe that learning places are nurturing spaces for the multiple intelligences. We're here in our Learning Resource Center, and this is our tree of knowledge. All our stories are read out under this tree of knowledge as the children sit around and rapidly listen to their favorite stories. A lot of children's stories that actually take place in the forest, the woods, the jungle, and we've created sort of a backdrop um, for these stories to come alive for our little children. Childhood only comes once, and at Glendale we believe in cherishing the experience called childhood. We should allow a child to be a child while he or she is still a child. When you look at the logo of Glendale Academy, you see So a Character, Reap a Destiny. That actually comes from a quote by Samuel Smiles, and the entire quote is, So a thought, reap an action. So an action, reap habit. So a habit, reap a character. And the final line which we've taken in our logo is, so a character, reap a destiny. What's really important to do is that when children start learning, there's so many things for them to explore and they really need to just enjoy going to school. They need to have a positive association, uh, an emotional association with going to school, with learning. They should think that learning is fun, that learning is enjoyable. Um, learning is really kind of quenching their sort of curiosity about how the world works around them. The school design not only enhances the environment for learning, but it should ideally be a part of it. Teachers can use a host of meaningful resources to illustrate their lessons in math, reading, writing, and especially science.
with the system of multiple intelligences we have tried our best to capsule academics into a kind of pill that a student can swallow at his own taste at her own taste Playgrounds are great and they add a great physicality to learning and it allows children to explore their environments and channelize their energies. actually have a twin focus on character and competence. Character is really important. It's something that takes you through life. And competence is, of course, something that we can't ignore because academic excellence is a stepping stone for our career and higher learning. Dr. Howard Gardner said, it's not how smart are you, it's how are you smart. And that's the beauty of multiple intelligences because we know that children are smart in so many different ways. Where we are 
contesting or trying to see what education is and its values from the Delore report of learning to know, learning to do, learning to be and learning to live together are embodied or being practiced in this institution here. Thank you.